What's up, everybody? Welcome back to High Caliber Haymaker. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're posting some really great content. And today, kind of like a bonus video, because I typically post on Fridays, uh, I just got my Hogue, like, larger Smith & Wesson grip here today. So I wanted to go ahead and take care of this while I've got a few minutes. Um, as you can see, the grip size from what's on my 38 Special right now, as opposed to this grip, there's a lot more meat to the potato. So when you're firing this, there's just not a lot to hold on to. Uh, it's a very thin grip, uh, and also it's you can't even really fit your pinky on there. So it's just not it's not comfortable either. So first things first, we're gonna make sure we are unloaded, which we are. And so I've seen some videos, and it's all over the place, like how people do this. I mean, there's instructions in there. But people are like, do this, do that, do this, do that. So hopefully I'm going to have a nice fluid video, easy steps of how to do it. So let's go ahead and get into that. So what we're going to do first is I'm using a 5 8 wrench. And this is just going to be my leverage point. And you're like, what do you need leverage for with removing a grip? So I've seen people use sockets and things like that. But if you use the end of a wrench here, you can simply just set the firearm on top of it and then use whatever you're going to use to tap the roll pin out. So bear with me. You are attached to the table here. The camera is on an arm that's attached, so it will shake a little bit. So bear with me. I also don't have like a bunch of pins and stuff like that to be able to punch stuff out. So what I'm using is this little bit set that came with a small screwdriver. It's basically what I use for, you know, really small optics or you know, for like my kids toys that have a screw that's like this big to change the batteries out on. As you can see, some of the tips on these are quite small. So uh, I'm going to try this one. We've got to knock this roll pin out before we can even take the grip off. Again, that's why I'm using this wrench here as well. So I'm not hitting that pin into my table. Um, so let's see how it goes. I've already tried hitting it once and it didn't go very well. So Looks like we may have gotten some progress there. Yep, there we go. See the roll pin sticking out right there? So we're gonna take that out. That worked actually a lot better than I thought it would. So see, we didn't damage the table. And I have no idea if I can even tell you what size this is. It's a T3, looks like, or T9? T9. So if you have that laying around, that made that quite easy. So now we're going to remove our grip and look at that it slides right off. And like I said, I mean, there's just nothing to this thing. It's like a hard plasticky rubber, not very, not very good. So let's go ahead and bust open this hoe grip and get this thing put on. So it's a two piece assembly. Uh, you do have a set screw that I'll show you here in a second, but these two pieces just come off right here. And I will set them here so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and get our pin out. All right, I've got it out. So this is our pin. So it has two nuts on it. It's threaded on both sides. So what you want to do is get it as even as possible. So we're going to take one off very carefully because we don't want to lose it. So we're going to put it right here in the middle. I don't see it moved already. Right there. All right, so now we're going to back this one back a little bit. Now, they say you don't need to use Loctite, you just kind of need to get it hand tight. So I'm, I've got some need on those pliers that I'm going to crank down on it a little bit at least. All right, so they want to say you, they say you want to get it as even as possible. So I'm going to try and put this in the middle of the camera for you while I'm looking at it. And just keep twisting until we look even here. I'm trying to hold the nuts still, it's not working very well. So let's back this off. Put that in there one more time. And that looks pretty dang close. Maybe one or two more. So one, two. Well, not that. Right there. So kind of for instance, so that's about how much you need left on the end. So we're going to put that through again. Yeah, that's damn near even there. Okay, so now we're going to take the other side. The other nut, tighten that up. All 
Now there's not a lot of room to work. See, once you see how the nut is nice, it's almost right up to the edge there. So you've got to work with what you got really. So I'm going to use my finger to hold this side still. I've got my needle nose pliers here and I'm just going to tighten this and see. Oh yeah, it tightens right down. Cool. Okay. So tighten that up. One more. All right. That looks good right there in the middle. Okay. So now, uh, so this is made for a couple different types of pistols. So we have to actually remove a few pieces out of here. So there's these little plastic pieces. They say you need to use a knife. As you can see, I can do it with my finger. It's very easy to remove. So you're going to grab those, pry them out. They look just like that. Make sure I do it on camera. There we go. And there's two on the other side. There we go. See what I'm doing is I'm just prying right here. And now you can see, hopefully you can see those little plastic pieces sticking out. So grab those, see they're right here, pop them out. And this is just for the fit and finish. It's made, like I said, it's made for two different types of uh, revolvers here. We're ready to slip the grip on. So we're gonna work that in right now. Make sure you line it up. There's two little grooves where it'll literally just guide it right through. And now you've got to work it a little bit. Make sure you get your edges out. There you go. Give it a good push. And I think I actually overdid it just a hair. Oh no, we're there. All right. So give it a good slide. Like I said, just follow the channel right here. So I'm going to reconfirm that this is tight because I do not want it to come loose while firing. So I'm gonna hit this one more time. Okay, now we're gonna put our grip fill basically. As you can see, there's a gap here on the back bridge of the firearm. You slide this up in there. It basically fills that gap for a nice fit and finish. Okay. Right up there. So it should be a little past the bottom of the original piece of the firearm. So now the tricky part. So you need a, a round from your 38 Special that you've already spent, that you've shot. So you'll pr place that in there. I'll use my pliers, I'll show you, and then you click this on there. So give me just a second to grab one of those, and then we'll be all finished up. All right, so we've got our spent piece of brass here. It's already been fired. So I've seen people do it a bunch of different ways. Like I said, it, it's all over the place. It's not very, this is the way to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and kind of like pre-set this on there if you can just a little bit. So you're kind of going to just get lined up, okay? So as you can see, these screws are going to lock into these. There's two holes in here that it's going to set into. So I'm going to kind of get set, if that makes sense. So I'm in the position where I want it to click on there. So now I'm going to take my brass. Go ahead and grab that. Get a good hold on it. And then I'm going to kind of work this brass in there. And while I'm doing that, you see how I just clicked on there a little bit? So keep working that in there. Prying side to side. Make sure we're all the way on, which I think we are actually. No, maybe a little more. Let's give it one more go. It looks it looks pretty much right, but we're going to make sure. So let's go ahead and hit the brass in there one more time. Oh yeah, I just snugged up there a little bit more. Okay, see there? Now it's nice and tight on the edges. So there you go. See how much better this feels because I already know it's going to be a thousand times better. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, it fits in my hand. My pinky has somewhere to go now. A much more firm grip. Oh, yeah, that feels a thousand times better. And there you go. So, hopefully, this video was a lot smoother than other ones you've seen on YouTube. This is what we started with, and this is what we ended with. I mean, 
plain as day, clear difference in size between the two of these. Oh yeah, feels much better. Much, much better. All right guys, well if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you subscribe. Our next video that's gonna be coming up, you'll see that posted here probably in the next couple days. Uh, and that will be, is a shotgun a realistic home defense option? I'll give you my insight, my pros and cons. So make sure you're subscribed to see that video. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.